Over the past couple of days, my Discord server has been in a raging debate over one simple question. Which do you think is harder, Jawbreaker or Nine Circles? Well, at first, I thought the question was easy. Jawbreaker is harder because the wave involves more spam and the level is also more luck based. But the more I thought about it, the more complex the situation became. What about the pre-drop in nine circles? Does that make up for the difficulty in the wave? Questions like this sprung up in my mind, and I became so involved in this question that I have decided to make a video about it. Over the course of said video, I will be determining which level is more difficult by analyzing the summation of their individual parts and comparing the two. It's kind of like what Potato Brother does in his videos. Please note that the scores that I give each part are personal opinions, and they are relative to each other. For a rough comparison, a score of 1 means it's basically free, and a score of 10 means it is insane demon difficulty. Please take these scores with a grain of salt as I am more focused on the relationship between the two scores as opposed to the exact representation for each score individually. Enough blabbering, let's get on with the video. To start off, the first cube in Jawbreaker is extremely easy, and it receives a score of 1. There are no specific timings that are necessary, just click where you are supposed to, and it will all be alright. The first cube in 9 circles, however, is a little bit more difficult, requiring 3 challenging inputs. The first is over this gear, the second is jumping onto this blue pad, and the last difficult input is a triple spike. What I am trying to say here is that the first cube in 9 circles is easily harder, so it receives a score of 2. The first ship in Jawbreaker is a little bit tricky at first, but it gets extremely consistent with enough practice. This ship requires a little bit of easy straight flying, and you must have a solid grasp on the ship game mode to complete it. Unfortunately, it lacks the length that some other parts have, being only 4-5 to five seconds long, which really brings down the difficulty. The Ninth Circle ship is much more difficult with much tighter spaces. It puts much less emphasis on easy straight fly, and significantly more emphasis on weaving in between the spikes. This is very difficult for somebody who is unfamiliar with the ship game mode. Along with the increased difficulty, the ship is also much longer in this level, which multiplies the difficulty. When all is said and done, the Jawbreaker ship section gets a 2 for its difficulty, and the 9 circle ship section gets a 5 for its difficulty. The Jawbreaker ball is pretty basic with minimal timings, and again, this portion is relatively short. This ball section is very reminiscent of the cube section for one simple reason. There are no timings. Following in the cube's footsteps, the Jawbreaker ball receives a score of 1. Now, the Nine Circles ball is a whole different beast. It requires a lot more memory, and there are specific timings scattered throughout this portion. Oh yeah, it's also twice as long, which makes it that much harder. I can confidently give this portion a 5. After the balls, both levels go into a simple cube pre-job. Both of them are free, so it isn't even worth it to compare them. But for the sake of this video, I will. I would say that the Jawbreaker cube is slightly harder because it requires more inputs, but this difficulty comparison is very minimal for this portion. I will give Jawbreaker a 2 and 9 circles a 1. Up until this point, it looks like 9 circles is easily harder than Jawbreaker. Let's see if that continues into the wave. The Jawbreaker wave is significantly harder than the 9 circles wave for a couple of reasons. First of all, the Jawbreaker wave is much more awkward. In 9 circles, the wave gameplay is really smooth, but that could not be said for the Jawbreaker wave. I will give a couple of examples on what I mean. Look at this part where you have to click as soon as you enter this gravity portal. This is a very awkward timing that requires a lot of practice, especially for somebody who doesn't have as much skill. And it isn't the only one either. It actually happens about 4 different times, which is just ridiculous for a hard demon. Secondly, the Jawbreaker wave has decoration that makes it very difficult to see the gameplay. To explain further, you go through more structures in Jawbreaker. In 9 circles, this only happens 5 times, but in Jawbreaker, this happens 14 different times. Obviously, it is harder to play a level when you cannot see where you will die, so I don't believe my point needs to be explained any further. Also, you must take the emphasis on spam into account. Jawbreaker uses much more spam than 9 circles does, and the spam that it does use is significantly harder. Partly because the space is smaller, and partly because you can't see what will kill you, as previously discussed. Lastly, the Jawbreaker wave is significantly longer than the Nine Circles wave. This really adds to the difficulty, because not only are you doing something that is harder, but you are doing something that is harder for a longer period of time. It is really hard to quantify the difficulty, but I will try my best, so I say that Jawbreaker gets a 9, and Nine Circles gets a 4. Before I deliver my closing thoughts on the matter, we must go over the dreaded last cube in Nine Circles. This last cube makes it really difficult to compare the difficulty of the two levels because Jawbreaker doesn't end with a cube like Nine Circles does. To compensate, 
I will just combine the wave and the cube into one section so that it can be equally compared. When taking the last cube into account, we need to go over a couple of things. First of all, the transition into the cube isn't all that great, especially for a new player. Secondly, the cube is a serious choke point for most players because this cube signifies that they are near the end of the level. Thirdly, there are random timings scattered throughout this last cube, such as this yellow orb and this dreaded 94% jump. Before you compare the two waves, I believe that an extra 3 points should be added to the 9 circles wave. According to the scores, 9 circles is harder. At first, it would seem logical that Jawbreaker is harder, but once it is analyzed, it becomes clear that 9 circles is in fact harder. One thing you have to keep in mind though, is that all of these scores are personal to me. More often than not, you, the viewer, will have different scores than I have. The reasoning behind this is because of the different skill sets that we all carry. For example, if you are really good at wave, 9 circles will probably be harder because of the variety of game modes, but if you struggle with wave, Jawbreaker will definitely be harder because of how much harder the wave seems to you. Anyway, that is my opinion on the matter, and I hope that this video accurately portrayed my thoughts in a way that was effective. See you guys later.